that we have a statement from the Secret Service spokesman Ed Donovan, and he's saying that on four, on April 16th, so yesterday, a letter that was addressed to the president containing what they're calling right now a, a suspicious substance. So they're not saying whether it was ricin, as we saw in the other letter that was sent to the Senate, uh, was received at the remote White House mail screening facility. The facility routinely identifies letters or parcels that require secondary screening or scientific testing before delivery. Now that screening facility is a remote facility not located near the White House complex, so this letter never got anywhere near the president or the White House, but all mail goes through this facility. Donovan says that the Secret Service is working closely with the U.S. Capitol Police and the FBI in the investigation. White House officials are also directing questions to the FBI for now, so we're waiting to get a little more information on that front. Jay Carney, the White House press secretary, is scheduled to have his daily briefing at around 11.45, so in just 25 minutes from now, and we'd expect to get some more information there. Still unclear whether we'll be hearing from the president today, but I suspect, given this latest development, uh, that we should be hearing from him on this at some point. Juliana, as our colleague Peter Cook reminded us uh, just a few minutes ago, Washington has dealt with this before. The anthrax scare back in 2001, so it isn't exactly new territory for congressmen and certainly for the White House, uh, but it's been 12 years. How can we expect the nation's capital to respond? Well, I think as you're already seeing uh, the, the nation's capital responding with heightened security, uh, but everyone is being very careful right now not to jump to any conclusions. Again, uh, nobody, the Secret Service, uh, FBI, especially even with the letters on the Hill, nobody is making a direct connection to the Boston bombing. So everybody's trying to sift through the information, sift through the intelligence uh, as we're getting it and, and proceeding from there. Yeah, I was just wondering how unusual something like this is and whether it's being made public because of the timing. It is pretty unusual. Uh, this is not something that we, we deal with, uh, that we've dealt with ever, as Eric was saying. Uh, we haven't had this scare since the days uh, and weeks after 9-11 in terms of suspicious uh, packages, not suspicious packages, but packages with suspicious materials uh, and possibly poisonous materials being sent to lawmakers and the president himself. Uh, it's unclear uh, whether or not this is something that's a regular occurrence and that we're only hearing about it now because of uh, this is the aftermath of Boston, but that's certainly a question that we can pose to Jay Carney in just a short while.